I'm Deidre, and it's time for Weird Animal Facts. Today's episode is all about babies. Well, um, cockroach babies, that is. This is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. What's up? And I know what you guys are thinking. She's crazy. <laughs> I mean, kind of, right? Mm -hmm. But I want to explain to you why invertebrates and their babies, as well as our Madagascar hissing cockroach friend, are so important for the ecosystem. Food! Mm. There are so many invertebrates out there, and they have so many babies, that they're pretty much begging to be eaten. Dab into a Slim Jim! Eat me! And don't let their lack of a backbone convince you that these guys are spineless, because they've got the guts. Well, technically speaking, they are spineless, but we're, we're playing with words, people. But there are so many invertebrates out there. In fact, invertebrates make up 95% of all the animal species on Earth. Let me say that again in case you happen to doze off. Invertebrates make up 95% of all of the animal species on Earth. And that's out of 100. All right, now let's talk about the babies. <laughs> Female Madagascar hissing cockroaches like well, not like this one, this one's a male. But the females, we call them ovoviviparous. And that's just a fancy way of saying that they produce an egg, they just don't lay it. And when it's time for the babies to come, it looks like it's live birth when really it's not. The animal kingdom can be kind of complicated at times. These ladies can have about 20 babies at one time. But instead of each baby in their own individual egg, it's one giant egg party capsule that they all hang out in. A mother can breed about 30 times in her short little life, which means that one individual cockroach can produce up to, let me do some cockroach math real quick. They can produce up to 750 babies in about five years. Think of all that food. Oh, and get this. If you chop off their head, they can still have babies. That's the power of a woman. Gnarly, right? 